All right, good morning. We are back for more uh, NES Mario, first time through the game. Really quick on the video, my name is Ian, and we're, we're working our way through the game, uh, trying each world, and when we make it to a new world, we're making a save state. And like I said in the previous video, if we uh, make... If there's desire to see me try it all in one run, like the gamers of old did, then uh, we'll try it that way. But for now, we're just trying to make some progress. Um, Mario? I can't move? <laughs> Alright, let's reload the save state. There we go. Anyways. Yeah, it's, uh, Wednesday morning. Um, so my voice is still, it's kind of, oh! We're, we're restarting that one. My voice is kind of shot. Um, Tuesdays are a long day for me. I have, uh, the most of my students that day. Um, I have, uh... <laughs> okay. We're, we're still waking up. I have, um... I have, uh... And D&D &D that night. So it's a day with a lot of talking, is what I'm saying. And then, this morning, I woke up very early, and I couldn't go back to sleep. Um, this tends to happen around fall. It's my favorite season. I get up early. I just wake up, like... So, for a long time, I used to be a 1am to 6am kind of guy. Um, but, uh, recently, I, uh, <clears throat> have been sleeping, like, 1 to 7, or 1 to, yeah, 1 to, like, 7.30, and then, um, uh, recently, the past couple weeks, I've been sleeping... One to um seven, and so it's kind of nice. Oh right, I forgot about this. Just run. Um, I've been uh fuck. <laughs> um, getting up at seven, which has been good for getting recordings and stuff done early. <laughs> um, all right. I don't. I I can't lose a life on this level. Otherwise, we're screwed for Bowser's Castle and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, um, so, you know, I've been, it's, I, I've been getting stuff done. Um, get out of here, turtle. Uh, the, uh, I'm so annoyed right now, holy crap. I'm having the morning. Um, because, like I said, we've been going to the gym more, um, and I, I recently increased the amount of students I have for tutoring. Um, I've been, uh, I've been more productive. Lots of writing, lots of stuff done. Um, I hate this. Run. <laughs> okay, um, but what I was gonna say- oh, you know what? I forgot to check this. Let me pause for a sec. Wizard, you- brought up a Mario game. I f you said, I forgot to ask in your previous video, but you played a Mario game on the Game Boy. Was it Mario and the Six Coins? Let me look at this case. Mario and the Six Golden Coins. Um, you know what? That was it. I have a very vivid memory of that map. You pulled that out of the ether, my friend. Um, yeah, uh... That's like my only experience in Mario, aside from uh, Mario 64 now, and original Mario. Which, like, you know, the beauty of... <laughs> Maybe I should not have started recording at 7 a.m. Um, the beauty of original Mario is very obviously... It's, um, like, you know, the simplicity of it. Ju use your physics, go fast, make progress. Um, please? Yeah, get out of here. Um, you know, it sounds so easy. I understand how physics work, kind of. <laughs> um, you know, physics is always an issue of scale. Like, I understand how Earth physics work. I'm not good at <laughs> planetary physics and all that stuff. Um, but yeah. Make it through this level. Lock in. Um, I do got to say, so, 
in our D&D campaign? Oh, no. I keep forgetting about these guys being here. Okay, well, we made it past them. This is where I keep... Yeah, slow down there. <laughs> Alright, take a sip of water, wake your brain up. We were making it past this last time, no problem. It's just because my brain is in sleep mode. Um, but, uh, so our D&D &D session, we're doing Candlekeep Mysteries. Fun, fun little, you know, adventure stories, like, set in this famous library in the D&D &D world. Um, and I don't know, how do people here who, you know, got, uh, Gothic, uh, wizard, anyone else. How do you feel about puns? So, <laughs> um, okay, don't forget- Oh my god, how did I get transformed there? I really thought I jumped on them. Run. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> um, so my character is this whimsical little goblin named Charles Cheese. Um, and he's named that after, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, the icon of our time. I'm gonna make it through this level without dying if it kills me, <laughs> which is an oxymoron. Um... Uh, but, um... Yeah, so I'm Charles Cheese the Goblin, and my character's whole purpose in life is that he's traveling the world... Controller. I'm I'm literally I just hit A like four times. Is this the controller eating inputs? So I I did um recently uh I I think my my switch is starting to die. Oh. Okay. Good to know. This really helps here. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me let me switch out controllers really quick. Um, cause like something's going on there. Okay, do that. Um, because like I don't know. It's like not not. Being nice to me. Okay, and then... Oh, it's happening. Oh, look, it's in the, the... The one controller mode. Okay, hold on. I can figure this out. We can get there. <laughs> um... No. 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 <laughs> How do I get out of here? Okay, so we want to hold the controller this way, right? There we go. Controllers. Yeah, take me in there. Change grip order. Come on. There we go. Um, so what I was going to say is that I have a switch charging station for a bunch of controllers and I've started using that to charge instead of the switch dock because the controllers weren't charging in there for some reason which makes me think my switch is going to die but the funny thing about that is that I think the switch 2 is going to be announced fairly soon alright we got inputs we got this this time no problem easy peasy um, but yeah, so like I was to say, my character's whole purpose for existence is that he's traveling the world in order to find material to write better songs. He's a little bard. Um, because, because, um, he used to be the house bard for... Um, the, this inn, which was essentially Chuck E. Cheese, called Chuck, um, called Cheese. That's how he got his last name. He worked there, he doesn't know his, his only last name. 
Okay, can you see how much better I'm doing now that I switched out controllers? No, no! Wait, I can still get the flower. Oh, baby. No, it only made me big, though. Wow, I was in a hot mess there. Holy crap. Um... But yeah, so that's Charles Cheese. But, like, one of our players changed his character this week, so his his primary character that we... Oops. I just noticed the camera was a little high. That he had been playing was named Katir, and Katir had... He decided to leave the party so we could introduce his new character. And so, people were asking my character, like, in-game, about how he felt about Katir leaving. We finally made the world, too. Um... And, uh, you know, my character, he's, he's silly, but not dumb. Um, like, you know, as my, one of my best friends described him, he locks in when he needs to. Um. So, uh, basically, um, what my character said was like, you know, I appreciate the time we spent together, and like, obviously, I'll be sad that he's not here. But it's not like the end of the world. Like, this guy was not, you know, my best friend or anything. Um, and then he said a few things. So, um, <laughs> you know, he's kind of punny. So he was like, well, he was Katir, and then he was Kader, <laughs> and everyone groaned. My god, oh, let me out. Um, and then, uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff that happened. There's like a Draco Malfoy like character in the game who we <laughs> named Preston that like tries to bully us and we bully him. And so, when we returned from our quest, uh, last time, um, and we went to the lunchroom in game and he was there. Um, and, you know, he was doing his, like, I'm the rich mean kid thing. Um, and, uh, so when he tried to leave, my friend and I, um, finagled it so that we tripped him without him realizing that we tripped him. Like, you know, we made it look like an accident. Um, and, uh, please get out of here, turtle. Um, so, uh, we did that, and when he fell down, we, like, pretended to help him up, and I was like, here, let me help you up from where you belong. You always gotta, re uh, reach down and pull up people behind you. Um, and my, my girlfriend, who's our DM, was like, what the fuck? <laughs> you guys are really into this today. <laughs> um, uh, there was one, oh yeah, and then... When we tripped him, my brain, because his name's Preston, like I said, was like, this is trickle-down Prestonomics. <laughs> he didn't jump. He didn't jump. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lock in. We're, we got one life here. We can do this. Wizard, um, you said to also think about, um, um, you know, when Bowser jumps, he's unlikely to jump again. So that might be your our opportunity. Okay. Smooth? I, it was going really smooth up until that moment. Okay, we did it. We did that one life. Holy crap. World 3 conquered. Thank you, Mario, but your princess is in another castle. World 4 on um, one life. Um, I'm gonna create a suspend point here. I'm gonna create a secondary suspend point in case one life becomes completely impossible for me and I need to go back and beat that level and get here with at least two lives, you know? Okay, what do I do about Lakitu? Can I kill him? Cause he's up there being wackatoo. Ah! Run. I'm trying to get coins so we can get an extra life, maybe? 
Yo, also, Wizard, because we have, like, similar tastes in TV, it seems like I told you about that show Dark, and then we were talking about, um... Okay, I can... I see. That helps. Um... Hold on, hold on, focus. Oh, no, that one came from off the map! You asshole. <laughs> um... But I've been watching... It's on... I think it's on... Uh... Paramount, but it's also the first two seasons are on Netflix. It's called Evil. Um, uh, really fun show. It's kind of X-Files vibes -y. Um, it's a little cheesy, uh, but in a fun way. It gets you thinking about some interesting philosophical concepts. Um, and the general premise is that the main character is this woman named Kristen, who is a psychologist for the DA. Um, no, I see what's happening here. Um, and she ends up working with an assessor for the church. Alright, not good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she ends up working with an assessor for the church who, you know, is investigating, like, claims of... Oh, I thought I could make it. Um, demon, like, possession, angels, and stuff like that. Um, and then they have this tech guy named Ben who works with them. So it's all kinds of fun stuff happening. And you get, like, your case-by-case -case weekend, or week, but then there's also... What is happening? <laughs> um, but there is also a, um, another character. He's, like, the tech guy in the group. Um, and his name is Ben. Oh, crap, there are too many of these little shell men. Um, alright, go fast so you don't have to deal with the shell men. Um, and, uh, yeah, so he's like the other skeptic. Um, and, uh, um, you know, they, they have all kinds of crazy cases. So I will say... The end of episode four of season one, like, shattered my psyche. Like, I just did not see it coming. Like, I, I kind of understood what was going on, but I was like, the the coins got me. Um, but then at, at the very end, I was like, ooh, did not see that moment coming. Um, so highly recommend. I'm having a great time with it. Alright, I wanted to go down there, but this is too much. <laughs> I got myself in trouble. Um, just this for this level, get the coins you can get and get out. I think is the lesson I've learned. Um, but yeah, I'm having a great time. I would love to have someone to talk about with it. Um, if you have the, the time and inclination to check out Evil. Um, I didn't know who he was, but my girlfriend said the lead in it is the guy who played Luke Cage in the Marvel series. So, that's not cool. Come on, man. Um, he's in it. Um, uh. <laughs> okay, we're not, we're not faring so hot right now. I would at least like to see the end of World 2 today. Um, okay, just get yourself out of here. You can keep getting coins, but you gotta, you gotta be smooth about it. You gotta be cool. Like MJ. Okay, give it up. Leave it. Leave it behind. Okay, focus. You just threw your, your spiky boy into the void. Okay, we've made it. <laughs> um... Yeah! Oh, it's morning. I'm excited to go to the gym. Uh, uh, we've, like I said, we've recently updated our 
exercise time. I really wish on Fitbit there was a better way to make like workout groups and stuff, you know, so we could we could uh check out like, you know, keep keep each other accountable. Okay. So I think the smart thing to do here, you know, stuff like this. But also break blocks if you need space. And we are about 30 coins away from... Okay, that's another secret, I think, if I want to skip, skip levels. That went right through that man's body. I keep forgetting I should be checking this stuff out. I guess we're- oh, I can go down here. I was gonna say, we're already underground. I don't know how to get up there. <laughs> I am getting the coins though, so that kinda helps. Do I have to f use gravity when I fall down to end up there? Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Okay. Lock in. Ian, you're doing good right now. Oh. He's he's unkillable. <laughs> oh no. Get him. Oh my god, we're so close to a level up. They- they knew exactly what they were doing there! I've created a hell for myself. Oh. <laughs> okay. Keep it going. We're doing alright. We're making progress. We're learning. I really wanted the extra life. It seems like the, wanting the extra life is going to create... Oh, um, make sure... No, we're going back. We'll make sure I never see the light of heaven. <laughs> Make sure you hit that. Now we just go. Alright, I am I am not on today. I apologize for my performance and to all fans. <laughs> I'm gonna start talking like I like I'm an NBA player or something on stream. Out of here, stinky. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> bro. Um, all right. So this is bringing up my my thoughts about early morning. So I I killed Lakitu. I didn't know you could do that. Um, I used to be an energy drink person in the morning. Um, I tried not to drink them afternoon. Um, I would drink them at when I was an opener at Barnes & Noble when I didn't... Oh my god, he's back. Um, when I didn't work from home. Um, okay, so Lakitu. Lakitu is inevitable, like Thanos. Um... Uh, I am very annoyed by that. Um, but, uh, <laughs> we're struggling, we're struggling. The levels are getting a little more devilish, a little more tricky. Um, but I haven't really had an energy drink. I don't think I've had an energy drink in, like, like almost two years now. And I don't think they're necessarily, like, the worst thing in the world for you. Um, as long as you don't overdo it. But, so what I used to do, um, I think we were still playing Majora's Mask back. <laughs> I really want to make it to the next level with the fire, because it helps so much. Um, but, uh, I, uh, uh, there used to be a Publix. About a 5k from our, our last apartment. And so what I would do is get up, do my morning stuff, um, run, 
run uh, the 5k there. And then, um... And then I would buy as one of those Celsius energy drinks. Um... And, uh... I'm pissed. Um, and then, uh... You know, drink it and walk back. And that would be at, like, 8 a.m. And those things have the same same amount of caffeine as a... Um... Like a monster or... Um... A Mountain Dew Kickstarter. Uh, which <laughs> reminds me of, uh... So when I first moved here and I went to my the Barnes and Noble I was working at, um, and I, you know, I was, I was, uh, I was a manager at that Barnes and Noble eventually, so I was a pretty good employee if I do say so myself. Um, but my friend's girlfriend, um, who I met there and who works there still, um, she was like, "Oh, what are you drinking?" And I was like, "Oh, it's um the Orange Mountain Dew Kickstarter." And she was like, "You drink Mountain Dew Kickstarter, you little freak!" And that was my first interaction with her. And um, also, oh, nope, you you are not getting me with that latitude. Get out of here. Um, but uh, it was very funny that apparently people who like Mountain Dew Kickstarters are <laughs> freaky. Um, I don't love Mountain Dew. I actually don't like Baja Blast as far as I know. I've had it twice, and both times I thought it tasted like... You know when you buy, like, the Ocean Spray... Um... The Ocean Spray, like, uh, air fresheners? It tastes like that smells. Okay. Be cool. Like, you can get coins, you can get the extra life here if you need it. You can do the safety dance. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I kind of... I kind of... I Every once in a while, I have this urge to drink an energy drink to wake up. Because my usual morning... Um... Beverage... Uh... Boisson... French, uh, is, uh, um, just green tea and water, which is probably, you know, best for you. Okay, try and fall to the right. Nope. Okay. So, there's gotta be a way to get up there. It's like, I can go over here. Is it? <laughs> oh, wait. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing there. Like, it's very clearly you gotta do something, like... Alright, well, we're gonna run out of time if we keep trying this. Okay, so remember... about the nightmare that is coming. Oh, okay, so there's one of those there. Now here... is where... we messed up. I don't think we kill him. I think we just go. Okay, we're out, we're out, we're out. <laughs> we made it. And we're only two coins away from another life. Oh, that level! The, that's... The, the lack of two level leading up to this and all that was one life. Very, very tricksy. 4-3. Okay. Mushrooms. Um, how long is your bounce back? Okay, we got a second. We did it. Start, start. How do I get up there? Do I have to time that jump perfectly? Start rebuilding the kingdom of Mario is what I was gonna say. Okay, no, that's not how you do it. <laughs> how? What? Do I have to go over? Do I have to go un- I, Do I- I probably have to go under, but how do I go under? Where do I jump from? 
Okay, I'm gonna give it one more honesty goodness shot. Like, you know, we gotta we gotta actually make it to the second level with the fire on. And if everything goes wrong, you know, I'm, it goes wrong. We did make it to World 4, though, so this is progress. Not as much progress as I would like to have made today, because I missed a block. Because, um, yesterday, or no, Monday, time's not real. Um, we, we, you know, we breezed through World 2. Uh, obviously, World 2 is not th that difficult compared to the current hellscape that Mario is finds himself inhabiting. Run? Okay. Nope. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's so annoying. Okay, we can... I thought I tried to rush down the mushroom. I'm gonna give it a couple more tries, and then we'll, we'll call it for today. And we'll have to figure out World 4, uh, probably Friday, after the Buffalo Bills have squished ye old fish. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> it's too early. My brain's not working. Lakitu... Oh my god. He sucks. Everything about him sucks. Um, even you and Mario... You're in Mario 64, you're holding the camera, your work was bad, your cinematography sucks. I'm calling him out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if I don't make it to World 2, I will not, you know, if I don't, um, I, it's not even really worth it, you know. But this is all practice at this point. Gotta remember, it's not the game, it's me. Well, it's a little bit the game, but, like, it's designed to be that way. This is all working as intended, except for maybe the Joy-Con being a little crazy. Did you just see the world glitch out for a second there? Like, the score went crazy? Or am I, like, freaking out? Mario's world is- uh, it's reached the global tipping point. <laughs> oh my god, Lakitu, I fucking hate you. Okay, hold on. There's no way. I was like, there's no way we're getting it. How are you supposed to get that mushroom if you need it? It's just too crazy. Okay. I mean, like I said, you really just shouldn't be stopping for stuff. Like, grab it if you can. But if not, go right on by. Because basically, once he gets... Um... The, uh... Spiky boy is on the ground. It's over. Okay, one more try. <laughs> we're gonna this time we're gonna at least make it through this world. I mean I might have to go back and, you know, beat world three again with more lives, like I said, just to give me more practice space and runaway. But also doing it on one life is like, you know, it's it's true gamer mode. Just leave him. I thought I missed that one. I got scared. Deep in my bones. Yo, what's everyone's, like, go-to Halloween movie for starting the season? Because it's, it's September. It's spooky season. And I am ready. Alright, this is our moment. Did not miss our chance to blow. It's, we're like Eminem. We gotta, we gotta lock in. The mushroom level, though, I still, I'm like, I don't understand this jump, is the problem. I 
forgot. I forgot. Don't go fast down here. You just gotta be efficient. Okay. Wait for it. Oh my god, my momentum. Step one. Grab these. Like, maybe- oh, wait, I have an idea. Maybe I jump... Over? Like, over the ledge? Yeah! Okay, okay, okay. Look at that! Puzzling stuff out. Okay, now... <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, forgot about you. This jump honestly just... freaks me out. Not... Okay, we got the extra life already. That's very good for us. Love that for Mario. Okay, we're out. I messed up the jump, but that's okay. So, like, I do not know what I'm supposed to do on this mushroom here. I mean, I guess most people don't know what they're supposed to do on mushrooms, but that's part of the joy of them, right? Okay, let this guy turn around. Get up there. Um... Do I- I- <laughs> what, what- what is this jump? I don't understand. Okay, hold on. Let's- just for practice, because we're gonna obviously probably not make it through here. Let me- let me look this up. Mario NES World 4 3. Um... Uh... <laughs> I so there's a whole feed about it. You have um uh No, okay, that doesn't explain anything. Um Hmm. Okay, everyone's saying go look at someone do it on YouTube. So let's try that real quick. Mario NES World 4 3. First, mute the video. Sorry, we have a little ad here. This is annoying, I know, but like, I don't understand this jump, but I would at least like to try and practice it. Okay, so you come out of the castle. Jump on the first mushroom. Wait for the Koopas to Koopa. Get up there. Okay. I mean, he just he just jumped up to the the mushroom. So like. Oh, yeah. Koopa's got a Koopa. You know what they say, Koopas have more fun. But he just goes... <laughs> I don't understand! Alright, we'll figure it out next time. I think I jumped a little too early, maybe, is what happened? Um, but that's a good stopping point. We'll pick up next time and try and beat World 4-3. This could be the bane of my existence, I can tell. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave tips, you know, and chat about whatever. Uh, and we'll be back for more Mario.